What's up, everybody? It's John Pap here, JohnPapFitness.com, Acceleration Fitness, Auburn Hills, Michigan. I'm here in beautiful Sandusky, Michigan, getting my tan on, because God knows I need it. Just finished up a workout, had a little food, so now I'm coming at you with your five Monday tips for losing weight, gaining strength, and getting jacked. I didn't forget about you just because it's Memorial Day. So, number one, it's going to be kind of geared towards weekends like this, where you know, it's a holiday, you might be visiting friends, family, doing whatever out on the lake, whatever you happen to be doing. So number one is how to stay on track during a holiday or during a vacation, something like that. So number one with that is get your workout in early, all right, as early as possible. So whatever, if you're doing an at-home workout, wherever you're visiting, or if there's a gym nearby, find out early, stay open, Get there, get it out of the way as soon as possible before all the festivities start, the cookouts, the swimming, the boating, whatever you're doing. So get that out of the way, boom, nice and quick. <laughs> try to stay on your normal schedule as well. Then also with that, it's trying to get your family or friends involved. So if you've got friends in the area, if you're bring, or if you're visiting back home, you know if there's people still in the area that you want to train with, you know hit them up, see what's see what they're up to or. If family's in town, try to get them into the gym as well. You'll not only kind of, you know, make things fun, more fun for you, but then, you know, maybe get someone else more involved or whatever it happens to be. So that's number one. Number two, sorry, I was rambling a little bit there. Number two is try out a different training style every now and again. So I know I've talked a lot about picking a specific goal, say it's powerlifting, bodybuilding, uh, running, you know, getting better for your sport, whatever it happens to be. But every now and again, it's not a bad idea to just try something else out. So, for example, last week, shout out Nick Barcelletti, trainer at Acceleration. Did a lower body workout with him, and he's in the midst of training for a physique show right now. So, you know, his training style is a lot different than what me and some of the other guys and ladies that I normally train with have been doing you know we're training for powerlifting he's training for bodybuilding and physique so it's gonna be a lot different so for example it's super high volume eight by eight on back squat followed by six by six on rdl and then some other ham and uh hamstring and quad work after that but it was super high volume not necessarily what i'm used to but you know it was fun it was a good time you know kind of nice to change things up a bit i'm not saying i'm gonna do it all the time but you know that high volume just change of pace you know, that shock to my to my nervous system, to my to my muscles that's like boom, something completely different versus hitting, you know, nine by two or or five by four or something like that where I usually don't go over four or five reps on the main lifts and save the high volume work for the accessory lifts. So it's kind of fun to mix things up like that and it keeps things from getting stale. I don't do it all the time, but you know, just every now and again. Then number three for any of these goals, if you want to get jacked, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain strength, just get outside this summer, right? Have fun in the sun, right? So, you know, go hiking, go take a bike ride, go kayaking, go swimming, do something, go play a sport, go play beach volleyball, something else to get you outside, get you active, get a little tan going, just have some fun with it. You know, stay active. And some of these things can do do wonders for you know if your goal is to lose weight you know go go swim that's an incredible workout or go hike or you know go kayak your upper body's gonna be sore so just try some different things outside or move your workout outside do an all outside workout or go run sprints go run hill sprints trail running stuff like that just have fun with it sorry I just stepped on something there it didn't feel too good now number four stay on track with your overall goals obviously we want to stay on track but don't sweat the small stuff so summer's you know a time to have fun outside with your friends and family to go to bonfires you know to hang out around the pool with your with your family your significant other or your friends whatever it happens to be so don't sweat it if you know you're sitting around the fire and you have a beer or you have a glass of wine because I know a lot of people love to do that so you know just relax if you just have one it's not a big deal like don't freak out about it. As long as you're not doing that every single day and it doesn't fit into your goals and plans, then you don't have a problem. So, But don't sweat it if you know you have a beer when you're sitting around the, the fire with your friends or if you have a glass of wine 
sitting around the fire with your significant other, so no big deal there. And number five, last but not least, I've been saying this I think every time, but that's how important I think it is, sign up for something competitively this summer, all right? So whether it's bodybuilding, physique show, powerlifting meet, half marathon, marathon, 5K, Spartan race, Tough Butter, photo shoot, whatever it is, sign up for it. It'll keep you accountable, keep you working towards something. You'll have an end goal. It won't be an open-ended goal where you're like, well, I don't know. I mean, I think I kind of made it, right? I want to get in shape or I want to lose weight. But pick a goal, do it, work towards it. So Ben Boudreau, the owner of Acceleration, he's got a photo shoot coming up in June that he's working towards. He's getting extremely lean and jacked because of that. Um, Emily Stone, she's running Tough Mudder, so she's been running a lot, as well as the lifting. John Beltowski, he's got a push pull meet coming up at the end of the June, at the end of June, in Ohio at Old School's gym that he's working towards. I'm doing the same. Jimmy Schroeder is also doing the same. So we've all been kind of working together on that. Um, you know, so pick something, put it on your calendar, pay the money for the entry fee. You've got a goal and then go get it, all right? So, that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day. Stay safe, have fun with your family and friends. Keep chasing it.